Hi everyone, the link between a floating exchange rate and solving automatically a current account deficit is quite an important consideration. Uh, let's take the UK as our base example. The UK has a large current account deficit and for most countries that have current account deficits that normally implies that the trade balance is negative. The trade balance is often the key determining factor of the current account, the overall current account position. So the UK has got a large current account deficit, it also has a very large trade deficit, which implies that the UK is importing a lot more than it's exporting. So when it comes to the pound exchange rate market, what it means is that there is more supply of the pound than there is demand for the pound. Which means overall, the impact of a current account deficit and a trade deficit is that supply of the pound keeps shifting to the right. That's the overall effect. The net effect is an increase in supply of the pound. Why is that? Because to buy loads and loads of these imports, more imports and exports, we have to supply our pound, we have to exchange our pound in order to buy foreign imports, in order to exchange it for a foreign currency and therefore buy the import. So the overall effect is that the supply of the pound is increasing. Mm -hmm. And that, yes, okay, it increases the quantity of the pound in the market, but more importantly, it reduces the exchange rate of the pound. It depreciates the pound. Right? And whenever a currency depreciates, WIDEC occurs. Weak exchange rate means imports become dearer, exports become cheaper. With more expensive imports, that in theory should reduce demand for imports and therefore reduce the expenditure on imports. That's going to be a good thing to help resolve a current account deficit. And when, with exports, exports become cheaper, therefore in theory, the demand for export should increase and the revenue generated from export should also increase. And remember, what are we measuring in the current account? We're not measuring quantity, we're measuring the value. So if we're saying the expenditure on imports is actually falling, it means there is less money leaving the economy, good for our current account. If revenue from export is increasing, there is more money entering the country from sales of export. Again, great for the current account. So in that sense, because the UK suffered a current account deficit, downward pressure is put on the exchange rate because it means overall imports are increasing more than exports. Overall, the supply of the currency is increasing. That puts downward pressure on the exchange rate, which means will it take place? And with WIDEC, with a weaker exchange rate, you see uh, imports falling and exports rising, helping to automatically correct the current account deficit. Great theory. However, in the real world, this never really happens. In the real world, it's not just the demand for exports and the demand for imports that determine the demand and supply of a currency. No way. Speculation tends to drive the demand and supply of a currency. And that dominates by far the impact of trade. On a currency. So even though in theory our current account deficit through different trade effects uh, affects the supply and demand of a currency and therefore could partially uh, correct a trade deficit, yes in theory, but in reality no because speculation gets in the way and it can reduce some of this impact and, and actually make it very difficult to automatically correct a, day, a trade deficit. Okay, so bear that in mind, in the real world this theory doesn't actually take place, other factors override it. Thanks for watching guys, see you all next time.